Yo guys, Codelife here. So in this video today, guys, we are going to configure the Fortnite config to get the best config settings in Chapter 3, Season 3. We'll start off with setting up some new Fortnite launch options to make the game load up faster. We'll then be changing a ton of config settings to increase FPS slash reduce input delay. And then we'll also be changing a few specific command options in the config to actually get some in-game advantages, such as being able to spot items a lot easier than before, getting better visibility in-game, and also increasing the player model sizes so if the video does help be sure to drop a like on the vid guys drop a sub on the channel use code life in the fortnite item shop and as well as that be sure to check out my website gamesettings.com to find out what the best pro players in fortnite are using you can find their settings keybinds and so much more at gamesettings.com i'll leave a link in the description below but now though guys let's go ahead and start off with the fortnite launch options so to actually get into the fortnite launch options guys a lot of you might not know this all you have to do is click on the um, epic games launcher right there and then once it loads up guys you want to go to the top right corner you want to click on your um like little avatar there or whatever your name is mine's called life so it says c you then want to go into the settings tab right here and if you scroll down guys to the bottom you should see a like tab option where you can open for fortnite and in here guys you want to type in a simple command called dash no splash what this will do guys is it'll remove that splash screen that always appears when you open up fortnite and when you do remove that splash screen obviously it skips that step and fortnite will just load instantly so it'll be really quick loading up a lot quicker than before then guys we want to go ahead and open up the fortnite config in itself so we can obviously make the changes and to do this you want to go over to your desktop you want to press the windows key plus r at the same time this will then open a run box inside of a run box type in the following command that's percentage sign local app data and then percentage sign again just like that after pressing ok your local folder should be opened inside of here you want to press f and this should find the fortnite game uh, file right there but guys before we go ahead and open up this as you normally do what i want you guys to do now is actually back up your fortnite config by literally just clicking on this pressing ctrl c at the same time and then if you just click off it like this press ctrl v this will then paste in a fortnite game uh, file right here and what this will do guys is if you don't like any of the changes as we make in this video or say if you do get any issues with it you can literally revert back to your original fortnite game uh, file slash config by literally just deleting this one right here and renaming this one back to uh, fortnite game just like that it's literally that simple but for now we'll leave that one just like that in there and we'll open up our fortnite game folder and then after that guys you want to open up saved you want to go into your config go into windows client and here is your fortnite uh, config file right here guys now before we go ahead and open it you want to click on it and then right click and click properties and make sure the read only box is actually unchecked because we won't be able to save any of the changes we make if that's the case but we will recheck this later and i'll explain why but press ok guys then all you have to do is go ahead click edit and boom this will open up our config like so getting straight into it guys you want to make sure that your full screen mode is on zero the reason why is because having full screen on one will make it so your game is always in full screen so you get the lowest amount of input delay as you can see from the graph on screen right here guys it really can make the difference when you compare it to other screen modes such as windowed and full screen windowed scrolling down you then want to make sure that your be sure grass is on false for the grass setting it doesn't really matter what setting you have this on because after testing it in game it's seen that the setting or option in itself is outdated and it doesn't actually turn off the grass in fortnite i believe it only does it in fortnite save the world only performance mode right now can actually remove the grass and that's why i recommend performance mode but more on that later uh, for your be sure fps this can also be on false i prefer that personally this config line is honestly optional if you have it on false that will show no fps counter in game whereas having it set to true will display the fps counter in game going down a little bit more from that where it says b latency tweak one that should be equal to false latency tweak two should be equal to two b latency flash should be on false by setting latency tweak to two this means we are activating the plus boost mode in nvidia reflex which basically gives nvidia reflex the ability to ramp up your gpu's clock speeds on cpu bound games like fortnite so what this does is it makes your game perform better you'll notice that when using nvidia reflex on either the on setting or the on plus boost setting so either two or number one you'll notice that your game feels way smoother than before as the latency has been heavily reduced thanks to that 
feature adjusting your GPU's clock speeds. However, I must say that for some of you out there, depending on your PC and your specs, your FPS may be less while using the plus boost mode, which is equivalent to number two in the config. So if that is the case, guys, I recommend um, lowering it down to the on setting, at least on number one. And if that doesn't work, just go back to not using it and set it to zero. Um, and that'll make it so you do not use it. But I think for most, you'll find um, a lot of benefits out of using either on plus boost or on um, for NVIDIA Reflex to get the lowest latency possible. Scrolling down to the B ray tracing options, you want to have the first one on false, the second one on false, reflections quality on zero, ambient occlusion should be on false, and then these options right here should both be on zero as well. As having all these options set like this, guys, it will be disabling ray tracing, which is basically an option in Fortnite to make the game look a lot better. It adds reflections and a ton of other stuff that make the game look pretty, but in terms of performance, all of these decrease performance so if we turn them off we will get more fps for display gamma this is your brightness setting in fortnite and mine right now is on the default 2.2 in my opinion and the 2.2 which is the default 100 percent looks the best in fortnite right now because in season 3 there's a lot of bright colors and um, all over the map they're very vibrant and just bright overall so 100 percent works but if you guys do want to go to a higher brightness you can go in game and here's what a couple of them look like you've got 125 percent right here and then you've also got um 150 percent as well which is the max brightness to be honest i wouldn't recommend going a lower brightness this season scrolling down from that guys if we go past all this mumbo jumbo just literally scroll past all this and um, all of you should have it in your config you'll see some audio options um somewhere down here oh here we are right here so you've got b use headphone mode this should be on false this right here is for the 3d headphone option and i myself prefer having this off um, but it is personal preference it's really up to you and then you've also got audio quality level this should be on one the reason why i recommend having this set to one guys is because this will make your sound quality be low in fortnite which sounds just as good as high in my opinion and on my headphones but one thing it will do is it won't decrease your FPS like if you have it on the high setting. That option actually does lower your FPS. For B, disable mouse acceleration. This can be on false or true because Fortnite itself actually uses raw input. And then scrolling down from that, guys, we've got these two options right here, which we've got a random one in the middle. I don't know why. But these are for automatically downloading the high resolution textures in Fortnite, which we do not want. So you want to make sure that the reminder one is set to zero. And then you want to make sure that the automatically download one is set to false right there as well. And then scrolling down from that, guys, we've got a brand new secret setting, which many of you may not be familiar with. It's called low input latency mode enabled, and this should be set to true. This right here is a secret PC setting that can further reduce your input delay. Fortnite did a blog about it, like saying that it can actually do this stuff, but it was originally intended um, for console players only. But for some reason, the setting is obviously on PC. It's just not just played in game like it used to be for a short period of time so to enable it what you have to do is go into the config and then activate the secret setting by turning it to true and boom you should get um lower input delay in fortnite and then just below that guys we've got the resolution options in fortnite which obviously you change to get a custom resolution right now guys i do highly recommend just playing native on 1920 by 1080 as that's what most of the pro players are using right now but if you guys do want to go to a stretched res you can benefit from two main advantages and well one disadvantage the biggest advantage is the fps boost and then the second biggest advantage is the bigger player models the way in which the player models get bigger is with you actually lowering your resolution this makes everything in fortnite including player models look a lot bigger so it's kind of placebo -y, but not really if that makes sense it can actually improve your aim that's why martos is a massive fan of stretched resolutions but the biggest disadvantage is what puts most people off you'll get one lower quality in game like lower textures and all that and then two this is the biggest one you'll get less FOV. Obviously, with you lowering your resolution, you won't be able to see as much as you can on native. If you do want to stretch resolution though in season three, here's a few great ones on screen, and I'll also link my tutorial uh, showing you guys how to set it up properly in the description below. And then down from that, we've got the frame rate limit, which you guys can set up a custom um, FPS limit if you'd like to. A lot of people choose to match this value right here to their monitor's refresh rate. So say if you've got a 240 hertz monitor, you'd put 240 in here. 
Same with a 144Hz monitor, you put 144 in there. But if you have a G-Sync monitor, if you use a 240Hz monitor, you want to put it a few frames below, so like 237. And then same with a 144Hz monitor, you want to put it around like 141, and that should work well for G-Sync monitors. And then down for that, guys, we've got the scalability groups. This is very important. The first one right here is resolution quality. This is for your 3D res, and I highly recommend you use 100 on this one. The reason why I put it on 100 is for best visibility. If you actually go lower than this, your game will look more pixelated. And yes, you will get more FPS, but it looks really bad in my opinion and isn't honestly worth it. View distance quality, you can have this on zero, which is near, or you can have it on one or two, which I highly recommend using either one or two for this one. The reason why is because view distance should be on medium or higher, because it lets you see players and items from a much further distance than you can when it's set to near. Near caps that distance, whereas medium or high makes you see a lot further and it doesn't affect your FPS that much. Any aliasing you want to have that off because that will decrease your FPS. Same with shadow quality, same with uh, global illumination quality, reflection quality, post processing. For texture quality, the zero is the lowest one, which many people have to obviously boost their FPS, but you can alternatively have this on one or two as well, which will increase your texture quality in game, but can also increase your FPS if you have got a high end GPU, because putting the textures on a higher quality will make the GPU work harder and it'll help your CPU out with Fortnite being a CPU intensive game. So there's a little trick for you guys if you want to boost your FPS and you have a high-end graphics card in Fortnite. But for a lot of you guys that have low-end machines, you may find that having it on zero is a lot better. Effects quality, you want to have that off. Foliage quality, you want to have that off or on zero. And then same with shade and quality as well, because all of these options right here, these three ones, will decrease your FPS if it's set on anything but zero. And then finally, guys, we've got the chat option. Options. None of these really make a difference, to be fair, and um, it's all personal preference. We've also got the DirectX 12 options right here, which I myself and my system um, doesn't benefit from, but yours may be different. I always use performance mode, which the performance mode options are actually down here, so I've got that enabled in game. And I think having this option on right here to true will set up performance mode for you, so I highly recommend using uh, this option right here. The first one on false, and then the second one on true if you want to use performance mode like myself. Again, it works best on my PC. But for the specific performance mode options, we've got the mesh qualities right here. Mesh quality 0 equals low meshes in Fortnite, and it looks like this on screen. Whereas mesh quality 1 equals high meshes in Fortnite, and that's what this looks like in game 2. As you can see guys, they're both pretty much personal preference. Low meshes is meant to give you the best FPS possible, although with high meshes, you're not too far off that FPS gain. Overall, if you're using like performance mode in general, you will see more FPS. I think between these two settings right here, it's all personal preference. But now you guys are probably wondering, how do I save my config properly? And all you have to do, guys, is go to the top where it says File and click Save, just like so. You then want to go back into the uh, Windows Client folder right here where it says your game user settings file. You want to right-click on this, guys, click on Properties, and make sure the Read Only box is now enabled. If you have Read Only enabled, this will mean that any setting changes you make inside of Fortnite will not save. But this also means that Fortnite will not automatically um, reset your config, which we do want. But Remember guys that if you want to make any changes inside of Fortnite, like inside of the settings, you do need to uncheck that read-only box for them to actually save. If you don't do this, they will not save. But that right there, guys, has been the best config settings for Fortnite in Season 3. If the video helped out, be sure to drop a like on it, drop a sub on the channel, and use code LIFE in the Fortnite item shop. I'd appreciate that a ton. Also, check out my website, gamesettings.com, to find out what the best pro players in Fortnite are using. I'll leave a link in the description below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.